Hey everybody, Chris here again with another video of uh, things from my past. And uh, one such place is a place at the corner of Stillwell Street and Broad. And that place, uh, today it's a nondescript, I don't even know what they do in there. It's a, it's a, but there's no name on the door. You wouldn't know what the hell they do in there. But it used to be, once upon a time, uh, where they uh, it used to be Frito Lay, and they made Fritos here and other whatever chips, I guess Cheetos or whatever. I don't know. But growing up as a kid over here, it always smelled like Fritos and coffee. That's how the East End smells to me, uh, in my memory. That's because Maxwell House used to have a big coffee plant right at Milby and Harrisburg, and that place is closed now. In fact, most coffee is not made here in Houston anymore and Frito-Lay moved sometime in the 80s to a bigger facility they had built out in Sugarland. However the building is still here and the memories are still here so let me uh, see if I can flip this damn thing around. I don't know how to flip it so anyway I'll just turn it around and this used to be Frito-Lay we have a big Frito-Lay sign right up there above that front door. And uh, as you can see, it's a bunch of small warehouses. Not a huge concern. They would use that train track right there. And from that train, they would uh, load up freight cars full of Fritos going off to wherever they went off to. And um, I don't know, it's just a really happy memory of the smell, waking up every day to the smell of Fritos and coffee and, and uh, you know, the East End isn't about that anymore. At the very corner of, let's see, I don't know if you can see it from here. That building with the, with the very, let's see, can you see it? I don't know, I can't zoom in on it, but there's a building right I don't know. I can't. It has a very southwestern style fence. It's brown with little uh, turquoise accents and little uh, southwestern patterns on it. Behind that fence is a little building and used to be Cars Tasty Freeze. And uh, we would go there almost every day. My dad would give us a couple of dollars to go get a milkshake or a cheeseburger, fries and a shake or something like that, which is probably why I'm so fat today. <laughs> But we would, my brother and I, and uh, I don't know, was it, yeah, Tina would go too when she was a little baby, uh, maybe two years old or so. And we would walk over there and uh, order our food. And it was really cool because the workers here at Frito-Lay would just walk over there for their lunch. And that's what kept that car's Tasty Freeze open for so long. Unfortunately, it closed about the time that Frito-Lay closed in the uh, mid 80s which is a shame because now if you want a decent burger you have to get in your car and drive somewhere so anyway that's my memory of uh, my little neighborhood in the East End and uh, so there you go have a great day tune in on the next one later <laughs>